Welcome once again to Car Promotions Masterpiece Theatre, where we'll be visiting the mastery of Shakespeare and joined by noted thespian Sir Matthew Turner, who will be conducting a revelatory exploration into the richness and texture of one of the world's most enduring passages of literature. We speak, of course, of Hamlet's third act soliloquy, otherwise known as to be or not to be. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it's nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and thus by opposing in them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep to say, we end the heartaches and a thousand natural shocks that flesh is here too, tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to drink. Aye, there's the rub for what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must surely give us pause. And there, there's the respect that makes a calamity of such long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrongs, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the laws, the lay, the insolences of office, and all the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life but for the dread of something after death? That undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns. It puzzles the world and makes us rather bear what ills we have than fly to others we know not of. And thus, conscience does make cowards of us all. And the native hue of resolution is sickly o'er with the pale cast of thought and in the, in enterprises of great pith and moment there, you know, in this regard, the currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Off to you now. Ooh, the fair Ophelia, nymph, and thy origins be all my sins remembered. <laughs>